This is John Brigginshaw with the Channel 3 News Update. Kelly Thomas was mentally handicapped. He was no threat to anyone. A lawyer representing the family of Kelly Thomas says medical records prove the mentally ill homeless man died after a brutal beating by police. It's black and white, written and signed by medical personnel that were there to treat Kelly. They weren't looking for excuses. They were telling it like it is. Head trauma due to assault, brain death. Attorney Garo Mardarossian sat with the victim's father, Ron Thomas, at a press conference in Los Angeles on Wednesday. The media was shown blow-ups of UCI medical reports documenting the fatal injuries sustained by Kelly Thomas after an altercation with Fullerton police officers on July the 5th. Witnesses have described that one of the officers grabbed a taser, an X-26 taser, one that we have here, and held it sort of like a pistol and pistol with them repeatedly by pounding him on his head. Kelly Thomas was stunned six times with a taser like this one, according to his family's attorney. The victim's father calls it aggravated murder. I'm, uh, I'm very emotional, um, very broke up. <clears throat> but um, I need to continue with this mission. Ron Thomas, the victim's father, asks why the DA does not file charges given the medical evidence. This is also the right timing for the DA in the coroner's office to bring it out, to step forward and let us know what they have. DA spokesperson Farah Amami says the office is working as fast as it can. Well, it's a top priority. The district attorney, Tony Rakakis, is personally involved in reviewing this information, and there's one of two things that can happen. The first would be uh, criminal charges would be filed against some of the officers or all of the officers. If that's the case, then the evidence would come out in the, term, uh, in the way of a jury trial. If we find that there isn't enough evidence to prove criminal charges, then we would release a full report with all of the facts and circumstances, the findings of the coroner's report, and all of the other evidence that we considered in our review. This is John Brigginshaw with the Channel 3 News Update.